is a guitar chord chart. Now I know it looks a little complicated and scary, but if you compare it with the guitar, can you see how they actually look similar? So this thick line at the top is actually the top of the guitar neck. These lines that go downwards are the strings of the guitar. And these lines that go sideways, they show you where the frets of the guitar are. So this is fret 1, fret 2, fret 3, fret 4. And on the guitar, this is fret 1, fret 2, fret 3. And fret 4 is somewhere in the bottom where you can't really see. So on the guitar chord chart, you will find these circles or dots. These dots tell you where to place your fingers. So can you tell which strings they're on? Well, if you guessed these two strings, then you're right. Now that you know which strings they're on, can you tell where to place your fingers? It should be on fret number two, which is here. So that's where you know you should place your fingers. But how do you know which fingers to use? Well, these numbers tell you. So, you have finger 1, finger 2, finger 3, finger 4. The thumb doesn't have a finger because the thumb is always at the back. So you know based on the chart that you have to use fingers 2 and 3 and place them exactly where the dots are. Now, Let's try it with a real guitar. Okay, so here I have my actual guitar. It's a little bit old, so it's kind of peeling, peeling some places, but I think you can still see how it matches the chord chart, right? So it looks pretty much the same. And to figure out how I'm supposed to put my fingers, first, hold the guitar facing yourself, okay? So make sure that you can see it just like you can see the chord chart. Make sure that it's facing you. Then, based on that, based on that, try to find the exact same positions according to the chord chart. So if you can see, let's say we're talking about the E minor chord. E minor chord I know are these two strings. Can you see? It's just the same as the chord, the chord chart. It's these two strings. And I can tell that it's in the second fret. So these two positions. Then the next thing I want to do is figure out which fingers to use. So for the E minor chord, we're using fingers 2 and fingers 3. And just remember, for the guitar, this is not finger 2, okay? This is finger 1, 2, 3, 4, because the thumb doesn't have a number. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So which is 2 and which is 3? This is 2, this is 3 then I place it where it should be based on the chord chart. So I know that my two, finger number two, should be here. Finger number three is here, okay? So just be careful, it's not this way. My thumb has to come behind the guitar and then these two fingers find their way like that. Then once I have my finger positions, then I bring my guitar back to its play position and I hold it there. That's the E minor chord, okay? And you can do this for any other chord as well. So to read any chord, all you have to do is hold your, your guitar facing yourself so that you can compare it with the actual chord chart. Of course, you only want to practice that way for chords that are new to you, chords that you're just starting to learn for the first time. Once you get used to the chords, try to read and find the positions straight away because you don't have time to keep holding your guitar up and then bring it down again, okay? So practice and I think eventually you'll get it. I know reading the chord charts are not easy at first, but once you get used to it, it becomes really quite natural, all right? So good luck with your practice.